And now for preparation for healing the ocean meditation, for those that are not familiar with the sacred symbols that I include with all of my work, I'm going to explain a little bit about how we're going to use those during the meditation. So although I'll be guiding you with a bit of visualization, these images are very powerful images that I've brought into the planet through guidance from spirit. And they will help you to connect to the energy that is necessary for us to all join together to heal the oceans. So there are several symbols that will be used during the meditation and they'll all be part of a uh, video that is included here. But you can also go over to um, cleanthepacific.com and get a copy of the images to actually print out if you'd like as well. So the first image is chakra opening and balancing. The point there is to get the energy flowing within your body. Now, then we're going to move into love and trust, which is all about just getting into a loving space with yourself and everyone on the planet and trusting the process, trusting and knowing that we are powerful beings that have the ability to clean our oceans if we choose to do so. And so that's the next uh, image. We'll then move on to actually a symbol for releasing fears. And the reason I included that is we're talking about a subject here that could be very scary for many of us. So I felt that we needed to be able to let go of any of those fears before we started to actually do the work. Also, we could have fear that we're not capable and we don't have the power to do this. So whatever your fears might be during that process, part of the process, we'll actually be guiding you, I'll be guiding you to how to release those fears. Then we're going to move into a forgiveness step in which we're going to forgive whoever we believe is the culprits. Now, as a group consciousness, we created this environment, and, and I know that might be a bit to uh, understand or even buy into because, of course, you believe that you know we don't need nuclear en energy and all of that, yet you're probably using the electricity that, um, that our utility provider provides us, which is probably generated with nuclear power. So we'll want to forgive whoever we have an issue with with regards to this situation. And then what we want to do is start doing the actual work. So then we have a symbol for water purification, another one for uh, radiation removal and detox. And then when we get done with that pro part of the process, we're going to move into a state of love and harmony with all of the universe all the beings, all of the water, all of the everything involved. And finally, we'll come into a state of coming together in love and peace and finding ways to work together in harmony and in peace. So a little bit about how to use the symbols. The, the way you typically will use them is to hold your non-dominant hand that's the one you don't write with, if you're not sure what I mean by that. And you'll put the palm of your hand near the image. Now, you don't have to touch the monitor to do that. And if you've gone over to um, cleanthepacific.com, you could have already printed these, and you'll find them there, and that might be more helpful. Uh, and then what you'll do is just hold your hand near the image or in the palm of your hand. You can also just gaze at them and take in the energy as we move from step to step, and that's perfectly fine. Some of you may find that looking at them for a moment and getting a good vision of them and visualizing them coming into your body and, and making that energy, uh, transforming that energy into your body is, is great as well. Now, there's a couple symbols here that you may also want to choose to use beyond this. In fact, you could use all of these beyond this. But I want to point out in particular, like the water purification symbol, you could put that on your water bottles and charge your water bottles every day. And then intend that not only the water in your bottle is clean and pure, but all of the world's uh, water is pure. 
And the same with the radiation detox and removal. You could do things like put that on your water intending that all water has is clean and pure and that we've neutralized all radiation. And another thing a lot of people like to do with these, and then we'll move into the meditation, is uh, put the, print them and put them near them in their workspace and connect with them throughout the day. So if you're finding you work in an in a environment that isn't very harmonious, you can put that symbol there to remind you to get centered and be more loving and harmonious with each and every person that you deal with. And, that, and then visualize that every person you deal with also is loving and harmonious. So we'll now move into the meditation. Now, get into a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed for the next few minutes. If you're driving a motor vehicle or doing anything that needs your full attention, please come back to this and listen at another time. As I guide you down this path, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and let out a sigh as you release the breath. Take another deep breath in and I'll let it out again. And one more. And as you begin to relax, I would like you to Notice the chakra opening and balancing symbol, either using it on the screen or whatever method you chose to do this. And allow yourself to take a deep breath and notice it coming into your body. See the beautiful golden light entering the top of your crown of your head. Continuing to breathe through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Continue to see that golden light coming down and touching every single cell, atom, subatomic atom in your body. When it gets to the neck, see it begin to spread out, going out your shoulders, down your arms, all the way to your fingertips. Well, the golden light also continues down into your chest, your abdomen, your pelvic area and hips, then down your legs. Continuing to relax and seeing the golden light continue all the way down to the tips of your toes. And then feeling it actually enter the earth grounding you to the earth. Then see a beautiful ball of red light right in front of your body at the level of the base of your spine. And as you see that ball of red light, bring it into your body and see it begin to expand bigger and bigger as it enters your body. Then see a beautiful ball of orange light just below your belly button and see it again entering your body and expanding until it reaches the ball of red light and they start to work together and blend together. Now moving up your body to the solar plexus area, see a beautiful ball of yellow light Enter your body right at your solar plexus, which is right at the bottom of your breastbone. Again, see that beautiful yellow light expand out, getting bigger and bigger as it reaches to the orange light below. Again, working in harmony with the other balls of light we've already brought into the body. Now breathe a ball of green light into the chest area and begin again to see that ball expand and bring in love to your body. And again, it expands until it is 
reaching the yellow light below. Next, bring a ball of beautiful indigo blue light into your throat area. And again, see that ball expand out until it's touching the light below, the beautiful green light. And all of these balls of light are now connected and flowing together. As we bring in a ball of beautiful violet light into our third eye in the center of our forehead. And see that ball of beautiful violet light expanding and expanding until it reaches out to the blue light below. And finally bring in a ball of beautiful white light along with that gold energy right into the top of the crown of your head. Just allow the flow of the energy to continue to work as we move into the use of the love and trust symbol. And with the love and trust symbol, feel your heart begin to open more and more. Just feel it like waves of love energy just expanding and expanding out beyond your body, out into the room that you're in then out into the whole house you're in or the building you're in. Continue to see that expand out into the neighborhood, the city, the state or country. Just keep allowing that energy to expand bigger and bigger. And send love and light to the ocean and the rivers and the water tributaries, any water anywhere on the planet as you're expanding this love out. And begin to feel a, a knowing, a trusting and knowing that we are all powerful beings and that we have the ability here to transform our beautiful planet and our transform our beautiful oceans into healthy ecosystems that support all the beings on the planet, all the marine life, and support the rest of the planet, including the human beings. Just allow yourself to take a few moments to feel that loving energy and the trust and faith of knowing that we all have the ability and we, as we come together and as more of us come together and gather together here, are doing this work. We are making a difference. And now you'll move to the releasing fear symbol. And I want you to notice if you have any fears about this loving and trusting peace or any other fears regarding what we've talked about with radiation in our oceans. And what I'd like you to do is visualize yourself sent, putting that fear or fears into the center of the heart of that image. And just expand the love of that energy, that, that heart so that it grows bigger and bigger around this fear. And gradually the fear needs to leave. It wants out of this love energy. And so it works to escape out of the little squiggly-like lines in the upper left corner of the heart. But as it does, I want you to see a beautiful ball of, of pink light, a big bubble of pink light, sitting just above where those squiggly lines end. And as the fear escapes, it ends up going into that beautiful ball of pink light. Now, I want you to sense that you have let every one of those fears that you have around this issue released into that ball. And as you sense that every single one of them are now into the ball of pink light. I want you to let that ball go, just as if you've been holding a string to a balloon. Let you open your hand and just allow it to let go. 
And I want you to thank that fear for what it has provided. And I want you to say, I now move forward knowing that I am an all-powerful being and that I am owning my power and I am no longer afraid. Take another deep breath in. And when you feel complete on releasing the fear, I'm going to give you another few seconds here. So I'm just going to allow you to breathe in and breathe out. And when you're ready, we'll move to the love and forgiveness image. And what I want you to do here is I want you to think of anyone that you blame in any way for the disasters that's happening in our oceans that we've seen today or that we've been made aware of today. And each and every one of those people, I want you to visualize them. Maybe you don't know them by name, but you just know that they are there. I want you to visualize each and every one of those people, and even including yourself if you feel that you've been a part of it for whatever reason. I want you to then open up your heart, and as you look at each and every one of those people, look them in the eye and say to them, I forgive you, I love you. And keep saying that to each and every one of those people, taking a breath in between each one. Oh, I forgive you. I love you. And keep doing that with each of the people. I forgive you. I love you. I forgive you. I love you. Now look yourself in the eye and say, I love you. Now take another deep breath. And now we're going to move on to working with the water purification symbol. And what I want you to do is continue that feeling of sending waves of love energy out to the planet and out to each and every body of water on the planet. But what I want you to do, add to that is, with that love, I want you to add the image of that water purification symbol, intending that as it touches the water, energetically touches the water, that it cleans and purifies it so that it is a healthy, healthy infrastructure to support our ecosystem, to support the mammals that are on our planet, including the human beings, and to support all of the marine life that lives in those waters, including the fish and, and even the dangerous, what we consider dangerous creatures that are there because they all are part of that beautiful ecosystem. So see the water just becoming more and more clear and see the, the marine life actually uh, jumping out of the water in some cases because uh, they're happy. See the dolphins just swimming and coming up out of the water and being excited and happy. And the whales doing the same thing and having their tails hitting the water as they come back down. Just visualize the happy, happy marine life that are so happy that we're doing this work. And when you're ready, combine into this the radi radiation detox symbol and see it helping the water purification symbol neutralize and clear any radiation that may be in the oceans or may be in any of our water systems. So just continue to see both of those images cleaning the water neutralizing any radiation, 
and continue to see the marine life getting happier and happier. See the dolphins come up and look up and smile like they do when they're happy. And just continue to send that energy out into the oceans. And even the lakes and streams near your home or anywhere else on the planet that has water. See the beautiful waterfalls in different areas being clean and sparkling. And know that when you see these images, these symbols, any time throughout your day, that all you have to do is remember this moment and continue just with a brief moment to send the energy back out into those waters to continue this cleaning process. Now take another deep breath. And we're going to move to the love and harmony symbol. And while we're working with that one, what I want you to see is each and every one of you being in harmony, not only with other human beings on the planet, but also to be in harmony with all of life forms on the planet, including rocks and sand, all of it. To be living in harmony with all of it, to be honoring and respecting not just the marine life, but the trees and the plants and the birds and even the bugs and the snakes. See us all finding a way to live in beautiful, beautiful harmony at all times. Take a deep breath in and just continue to feel how wonderful it is that we are able to harmoniously come together and find solutions so that we have our, we get rid of our nuclear power plants and instead replace them with great systems that support the ecology, the environment, and the planet and all of its beings. See us all beginning to work more and more in harmony every day. And then finally move to the symbol called coming together in peace and love. See us begin to find not only harmony, but peace in every, in every way that we deal with each other. That we can find peaceful, harmonious solutions that really work for all of the planet. That we take the time to really find the real solutions that are going to support everyone, not just the few. Take another deep breath in and begin to feel the love and harmony and the peace that the whole world is now surrounded with. See every being loving each other being peaceful and being harmonious with each other. See us finding solutions that work for everyone, not just the few, as I said before. Continue to take deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. And then begin to say a mantra that I like to use every day, which is peace, love, harmony, bliss. Peace, love, harmony, bliss. Peace, love, harmony, bliss. And just keep repeating that beautiful affirmation throughout your day. Whenever you find yourself in a situation that doesn't feel really, really yummy. Just repeat those, those same, uh, same mantras each day. Peace, love, harmony, bliss. 
you'll find it amazing how fast things will change in your life when you start to feel that sense of peace, love, harmony, and bliss by doing that, that mantra each day. So I'm going to leave each of you to come back slowly now. You can blink your eyes, wiggle your toes, whatever works for you. And know that you have done your part for today to help to clean the planet, to clean the oceans, and to make our world a better place to live. Namaste.